this episode of Dirt Road Traveler, we're in Vienna, Austria. from Vienna, Austria. Last night, we had the most amazing experience. We had, were treated to a private concert where we heard everything from Mozart to Bach to uh, It was just like, I'm, I don't know. And even the vocals were just incredible. Today, we're doing a large walking tour. Then we're gonna spend some free time in the park. And of course, we have to go looking for our traditional Hard Rock Cafe t-shirts. So enjoy the rest of the video and we really hope you enjoy our Dirt Road Traveler visit to Vienna. The other crazy thing about the Danube River and of course the river cruise industry, this row here in Vienna has no fewer then 12 river cruise ships all in here at port this morning. They are parked double wide and you'll see here Viking who is sort of the mass market version of river cruising here in Europe. Not only do they have two ships but they're actually double parked in this area so they have enough going on that they have four, the Tor, the Vili, and the Jarl, and I can't see what the fourth one is, all parked here at the same time. Hey, and for those of you who have watched Dirt Road Traveler Adventures in the past, you know that geocaching is pretty big to us. This is country number 48. And we are in Vienna, Austria. Austria. And this is where we just found our geocache. And we're super excited. 48 countries is a pretty cool milestone for us. So one of the beautiful parts of a trip with Uniworld is we've now come into the Museum of Fine Arts before the museum actually opens. It's wonderful. I hope 
this does this justice because this room is unbelievably beautiful. <laughs> so I always wonder, why do pictures of Adam and Eve show them with belly buttons? I just don't understand. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually take the tram to the music hall. So now we're heading into the music house where we're going to learn about famous composers like Mozart, Beethoven, Schubert, Strauss. So for us, this is a big day. Um, we love visiting Hard Rock. I think we told you a little earlier in the video that we were heading to the Hard Rock to get our Hard Rock t-shirts for Vienna. But one thing that Hard Rock has just done, they now have an international menu. So we're not stuck having the Hard Rock burger in Vienna. We're actually having bratwurst and we're having schnitzel burger with our local beer so this is going to be pretty fantastic yeah so uh cindy has the bratwurst on a bun that uh yeah like it's it's a foot long and i have a schnitzel burger and we're gonna save you all of the discomfort of watching us eat it but we hope you enjoy seeing the fact that Hard Rock now has a local menu at their restaurants. This is a game changer for Team Dirt Road Traveler for sure. So I'm not normally a fan of graffiti, but this whole walking area that we're using to get back towards the road that we're going to follow to get back to the cruise ship has some really cool graffiti art and uh, the next couple of pictures are going to show you some more of the intricacies of some of this art. Okay and how's this? So the Danube's actually broken into three areas in Vienna. There's the Danube River, there's the Danube Canal and the Danube Lake. And here on the canal, they've got a barge that has a swimming pool. So our second geocache of the day. Hint, there's a swimming pool close by. Well, when you're in Vienna, you should go on the world's oldest operating and most famous Ferris wheel. It's the oldest active Ferris wheel left in the world. The giant wheel, as it translates in English, was actually built to celebrate the golden jubilee of Emperor Franz Joseph. It was partially destroyed during World War II and half of the car 
actually featured in the movie The Third Man in the late 70s movie Scorpio, as well as the James Bond movie. And the view from up here is absolutely incredible. Okay, we had a blast on the Ferris wheel. And can you imagine, like 1897, it was blown up in World War II, partially damaged and then fixed to where it's at today. Look, I hope you're enjoying this video. We've got a little bit of a walk left to the ship. We're hoping to get a few more photos before we get there. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give us the thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It lets YouTube know we're doing a good job. Anyways, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the video.